Now it's time for hashtag on trend, trending this week, our discussion board. Remember all the controversy about the planning commission saying if you spend 32 rupees a day, you will no longer be below poverty line. Well, two young men who were in America, they were living the good life. They decided to actually find out what it meant to be living on that amount. They'll be joining us live. But first, let's look at their experience there in Kerala. These two U.S. returned entrepreneurs from Bangalore cooking their frugal meal using firewood they gathered. All this to know firsthand if it's possible to live on 32 rupees a day, the cutoff set by the planning commission for the poverty line. Tushar Vashisht and Matthew Cherian, both graduates from top American universities, wanted to learn more about India. So, four weeks ago, they started living on 100 rupees a day, which they thought was what the average Indian gets. But after the Planning Commission's 32 rupees poverty line definition kicked up a storm, these two former Wall Street employees decided to further scale down their income and chose the house of a farmer in Karagachal, a small town in Kerala, to live it out. We wanted to experience the average Indian lifestyle and that was, you know, other, other than rent, it's about 3,000 rupees a month and that comes down to 100 rupees a day, like the Shah was saying. And our plan was to do that for a month and see the constraints and the hard choices we'll have to make at uh, such a paltry amount. So to go from that to 32, which the Planning Commission suggested about four days before we began, uh, was another choice that we made you know, on the spot, just to, just to see if it is possible at all. And within weeks, the effects of the experiment started showing on the 26-year-olds. Both lost around 2 to 5 kilograms and often felt dizzy from their protein-deficient diet. From the 32 rupees, they could manage to get barely 17 rupees on an average for food. If we were a hard laborer, we would probably get arthritis and various other diseases that come with it. In that seven, which is the non-food expenses, it severely restricts our choices, right? It, it means that we have to live and sort of work around. We can't really uh, afford to pursue our dreams beyond that. The entrepreneurs have tabulated their findings to analyze their spending and their daily calorie intake. And it seems the results are disappointing. Talking about anything less than 120, 150 rupees, you are sacrificing somewhere. You're not substituting at that point. So clearly, I think 32 is 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 not feasible uh, to live a uh, to live a life of of aspiration as well as of uh, of comfort. Certainly not. The duo now plans to meet top government officials to convince them that the poverty line cutoff is far removed from ground realities. So we did the other end, NDTV. NDTV's cricket app, Android and iPhone. Faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.